Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm going to record this before I start my stream of Dragon Age Origins on my Twitch account. And <laughs> I've got to say, um, I've recorded my reactions to episodes one through six. I did them in uh, I did them in pairs, so I did one, two, three, four, five, six, that kind of thing. And I'm glad I did did it when I did because when I saw the Bumblebee confirmation get spoiled for me on on a uh, Twitter when I was posting a link to just advertise my own stream, I was like. All right, probably a good time to just react to the first six episodes before I get spoiled on anything else, and I'm glad I did. Um, volume so far, pretty solid, but that's another conversation for another day. So what I am talking about here is what Judgment of Critter has been going through for the past, like, I don't know, two, three and a half hours. And that is, um, well, let me, let me give you the, let me give you the backstory here. So we have Aaron, who anim helped animate, um volume nine and also reacted to volumes one through eight. Um, I don't know if Aaron is still employed by Rooster Teeth, but I don't think that they are. Uh, but anyway, so Bumblebee got confirmed. Yes. Yang and Blake are a couple. And in my reaction video, I was just like, yeah, okay, that's cool. So anyways, moving on. And then John said what he said. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. Um, please let the influx of gays to Ruby because of this episode. Please let the influx of gays to Ruby because of this episode single-handedly greenlit volume 10. So, <laughs> I know that was meant to be kind of a jubilation celebration type thing. Like, it's not, it's not she meant that, lit or they meant that literally, excuse me. Aaron didn't mean that literally. That was just them being jubilous, happy, excited, etc., um, and then, of course, Aaron says, I can't believe I have to clarify this, but they weren't made canon just to greenlight volume 10. If they're trying to green, or if they're trying to clarify that, then it's, it's like, you know, you're, you're taking their words a little too seriously. Now, mind you, I can't believe I have to clarify that, blah, 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 blah. That, I'm okay with that. That's, yeah, you know, yeah, that you have to clarify it because, you know, people on the internet are fucking dumb. You know, sometimes they read a little too deep into shit. But then you have to say fucking snot monkeys. Interesting choice of words. Um, just admit you hate gay people and shut up. Now, now, there's the pettiness kicking in. Just admit you hate gay people and shut up. And this is in response to Judgmental Critter. Because, um, you know, see. Uh, she made the tweet. Uh, this is your primary. So let me get this straight. They waited for when the show was literally on the verge of being canceled to finally confirm Bumblebee. Now, mind you, there's some other criticism I want to throw at the show, but we'll talk about that here in a bit. Um, just to use the ship to try and convince people to help greenlight the next volume. Now, do I agree with Aaron on principle? Yes. Do I agree with um, that take down there at the bottom? Absolutely not, because that's some petty as shit. A, a judgmental creditor is clearly not trying to be bigoted. They are not trying to, or she is not trying to... You know, in, insult gay people or queer people or the LGBTQ community or anything like that. She just had a bad take. She misunderstood. She, I guess, she read a little too deep into what you said, Aaron. And you know what? Shit, hey, it's a miscommunication. You know, you don't, you don't have to get your fucking um, fifis all up in a fucking knot over that shit. And it spiraled out of control from there. Now, mind you, the majority of this is not Aaron's fault, and it's not even really judgmental Kurt's fault. It's the community as a whole's fault because it's a repeated fucking issue that's happened with this fucking community because I've got, I can, I mean, I'm not going to name names because I don't want to involve people in this shit, but I can tell you, uh, if you want to DM me on like Twitter or something like, oh, who are the three you're talking about? I'll, I'll tell you who they are. Um, but again, I'm not trying to drag people into this shit any more than they have to be, but I can tell you that there were three people that attempted to react to Ruby and they just gave up because the community was just too much for them to deal with. And I kind of want to be one of them right now because, like, I did my reactions to volume, uh, volume 6, to uh, Volume 9 all the way up to Episode 6, and even then I'm just like, I just don't have the same energy for this show anymore because of all the toxicity that's going around with this community, how they treat people that dare to criticize them. And that's another thing I want to point out. Like, I, I you know, Hero Hey, I get it, but he... Eh, I don't even want to talk about him. Anyways, uh, we'll talk about, let's say... um, um Eddie, I think that's his name, Eddie, Adele Aka, yeah, Adele Aka, Vex Viewer, those two, for example, they are trying to ruin your enjoyment of the show. By no means are they trying to ruin your enjoyment of the show. They, Yeah, sure, they say they have bad takes, they have whatever that you want to say that they have, but they're not out there to ruin the show for you. If you enjoy the show, then by all means, enjoy the show. You don't have to listen to what they have to say. I think that, that's literally a case of if you don't like what they have to say, then don't fucking listen to them. Enjoy the show. 
Don't let the because uh, if because <laughs> it just it makes me wonder like why people go out of their way to go at them. Like, do they think Rooster Teeth's going to acknowledge them? Do they think that Miles and, uh, Miles and Carrie are going to look at them and be like, oh, our Star Wars hero has come to protect us from the evil that is criticism? Because, no, I don't think that's the case at all. Now, mind you, the toxicity that goes around with Rooster Teeth and the community as a whole, it's not Miles Luna's fault. It's not Carrie Shawcross's fault. It's not Eddie Rivas's fault. It's not Kiersey's fault. It's not anybody that's a voice actor or voice actress. It's not their fault. Who is it the fault of? It's the people that make these stupid ass comments and think they have this whole parasocial relationship with Rooster Teeth. That's why a lot of people are turned off by this community and why they're mostly laughed at. They're ridiculed. I, I join in that ridicule because, yeah, the way that some of these people act is fucking laughably. It's laughable and it's also disgustingly depressing. Like, how can you treat people like this? I mean, I know it's the internet, but just the way you treat people is so disgusting. And it's why I just, that's why I kind of distance myself from saying I'm a Rooster Teeth fan and just say I'm a Ruby fan. But even then, saying that, I'm like, yo, I, I don't know. Because people feel like they're walking on eggshells at times. Now, mind you, a lot of these guys like, you know, Adele Aka and Vex Fiora, they got some thick-ass spines. They can take the heat. And I respect them for that. Regardless if their takes are bad or whatever, they can take the fucking heat. They will take the jabs. And that takes, that, that, that takes, that takes guts. Raymond, same thing with him, Celtic Phoenix, if you watched his uh, Ruby rewrites. Great series, by the way. I mean, yeah, there's some things I could criticize about it, but he takes criticism in stride. Um, Fat Man Falling, it, you know, he some of his tweets I'm like, eh, but I won't get into that because it's neither here nor there, but the dude takes criticism in stride. He doesn't back down. He stands his ground. Yeah, and when he's shown that he's wrong, sometimes, you know, he'll, he'll admit that he's wrong. But at the same time, he's not going out of his way to antagonize people. People come at him. It's not the other way around. People come at him. If you don't say anything to him, he won't say anything to you. It's as simple as that. Now, with this whole fucking case here, do I think Judgmental Critter jumped the gun? Absolutely. I do think she jumped the gun. But the response back makes it, like, pales in comparison to the, like, her tweet pales in comparison to the response back. Do I think Aaron said the hate mom after Judgmental Critter? Absolutely not. I do not think Aaron did that. I think Aaron said what they said, blocked a, blocked Judgmental Critter, and that was the end of the day for them. But then their but their followers saw that and did their own thing. Now Aaron is not liable for what their followers do. It's not her. It's not her. Yeah, excuse me. It's not their fault for what their followers do. So now their followers being toxic and shit like that. That's kind of the cornucopia. Cornucopia. That's kind of the quintessential point I'm trying to make in the first place. Is that this community is goddamn toxic. You go at you say one wrong thing, you make one bad take or whatever. Suddenly the hate mob is all up on your ass. And that's not fair to judgmental critter. And it's not fair to Aaron either because you're making Aaron look bad. And you people don't fucking realize that because you've got this whole idea in your head that you're somehow being a champion of what is right and what is good for Aaron or what is good for Ruby or Rooster Teeth or Miles or Carrie. No, you're being an asshole. You're, you're, making, you're basically point blank pointing out how bad this fucking community can be. Like, of all the fandoms I've ever been a part of, the Ruby one is easily the worst. It's by far the fucking worst. And that's not even the one that I've dipped my toe in deepest into. Like, there are other communities I've dipped a lot deeper into, and they're not anywhere near as bad as Ruby. Like, Ruby is just, like, a fucking anomaly. Like, I am baffled at how seriously these people take this show. Like, I almost, call, I almost want to call it a fucking mental disease because of how psychotic these people can be. It's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. It's laughable for, you know, from not outside looking in, it's probably laughable as shit, and Believe you me, I'd be laughing too were I in your shoes. But, like, you people are fucking insane. You are out of your goddamn minds. It's just a show. So what? Somebody says some bad thing about your favorite show. Shut the fuck up. There's no need to harass them, even if their take was bad. And I will agree that Judgmental Critter, I do think she jumped the gun. I don't agree with what she had to say about this. But I think um, the whole back and forth between her and Aaron was dead and done when Aaron blocked her. Like, that should have been the end of it. But no, you asshole troglodytes had to gum, come in and say your bullshit. You had to come in and say your bullshit. And what have you accomplished? Uh, Dickie McSkeezex, you've just embarrassed the community even further. <laughs> Congratulations. You're a bunch of dickheads. And honestly, I, I, I really have a very detached relationship with the show at this point. Like, I am so, I'm borderline fucking done with the show. 
I I like the people, uh, or I like the people like Judgment of Critter, Raymond, Celtic Phoenix, Fat Man Falling, Adele Aka, uh, Murder Birds, Calzian, um, what's his name, uh, Kaido Dan. I like them. They're great people. They're fun to be around. But some of you assholes, they make it. You make it a little bit, a little bit of smidge harder to be around them because um, not that they tolerate what you fuckers do. But you fuckers make it hard for other people to get into the show because you're so goddamn toxic and you're fucking psychotic and you need some fucking help. But, you know, I'm just one random YouTuber on the fucking interweb, so what the fuck do I know, right? Anyways, Judgmental Critter, if you see this video, heads off to you. Uh, Aaron, I don't have any dis- I don't- I don't- I have- I have no love lost for you. I don't think you meant for any of this to go as far as it did. I don't think you had anything to do with it. Um, but yeah, no, just- be kind to each other, for fuck's sake. Like, is that too much to ask for? Don't be fucking toxic pieces of shit. You know, think about how that looks, uh, you know, reflects upon you. Think about that shit. You know, think about how people are going to perceive you when uh, you do the shit that you do. Just food for thought.